greatness can come from anywhere. I draw inspiration from the Filipino people and to God in my family. Hard work is the most difficult thing in boxing. Let's get into it. He probably backed out. I mean, God bless him. Said it was an eye injury or something like that. Pulled the arrow spits. But we will move on. But talking about arrow, I think it's going to be a man down. And it may be early. Because although Bud is pound for pound the best fighter in the sport of boxing, Tank is right there. Nui is right there. Usyk is right there. When you talk about the young up and coming fighters who people project them to be at that spot, Dry Ennis is always in the conversation. And if he's not in that conversation, when you are having that conversation and you are quote unquote a boxing fan, then you ain't looking at the game right. You need to put your glasses on. Jerron Boutin is a special talent. Anything Bud can do, Boots can do. And Boots said that himself, but Boots said he can do it better. Pacquiao versus Mayweather, still to this day, the biggest fight, largest pay-per-view draw with over 4 million pay-per-view buys in boxing history. A lot of people thought that Bud, when he fought Spence, was going to be like that Manny Pacquiao versus Mayweather type of situation, but it didn't happen like that. Bud went there and showed out, put on a master class, dismantled, disintegrated, destroyed Errol Spence. But guess what? Boots is a different animal. Boots wants that opportunity. David Avenizian, salute to him for taking the fight. When Bud fought Avenizian, a lot of people was like, you know what, why would you fight Avenizian when Boots is ranked higher than him? Hey, I think at the time Bud got like 10, 20 million to fight Avenizian. So it was about the money and still fighting somebody in the top 10, upper echelon in the top 10. Okay, I ain't mad at you, Bud. I would never be mad at nobody getting their money. Nah, can't do it, sorry. Let me tell y'all something, man. Boots is a tremendous switch hitter, power in both hands, athletic, energetic, vicious, Got that dog mentality, a great finisher. Let me tell y'all something, over 31 fights and 28 knockouts, Boots knocks out everybody that he damn near fights. So when you fight Jariah Ennis, just like when you fight Tank Davis, it's a chance that you're going to get stopped or knocked out. Now, I believe he's going to get stopped or knocked out. The question is, which one, which round, which one ever comes first? But David Abnesian, you gotta respect him because he stepped up, he took the fight, whether he took the payday or whatever. It's a dangerous fight. Nobody is calling out Boots' name. Not too many guys are stepping up to fight Jerron Ennis. That's why Cody Crowley, I gave him much respect for stepping up to take the fight. Talked a good game. He made it seem like he wanted the fight. He was looking for the fight. Gave Boots his credit. Said he was very dangerous. That's why he wanted the fight. So it's unfortunate that he had to back out of the fight due to the eye injury. But moving on, past tense. David Abnesian was in the gym, was in the working, got the call, took the call, accepted the fight, now we're here. So, will he win? I don't think so. Can he make it an interesting fight? You never know. Fighters like Chukadzi, and you know what I mean? Like, like when they when they fought, I mean, when they fought, I mean, a lot of people said that he was running the whole fight, which he kind of was, turned it into a track meet. But Boots is smart enough to get better from a situation like that. Cut off the ring. When they try to use them legs a little bit too much, cut off the ring, stalk them, chop them down, corner them with the jab. You see Boots, when he go to Twitter, he be talking about something like, just spar three different opponents, just using the jab. What you think that's for? Because he learned, he remembered. Okay, I'll make sure I put that stick out there. You wanna run? You wanna get on your bicycle? You wanna turn into a track meet? Okay, that's all you gotta do. And Boots fights fantastically off his back foot. Because the fact that he can switch, he can not only cut the ring off, but he can move anywhere in the ring because if he transitions, meaning laterally or vertically, he's always in a position to get off his offense because he can fight with both hands. Because if playing A don't work, you got to switch it up. And at some point, Boots is one of those type of fighters. You just have to make sure that you're going to the gym, prepare 130%, make sure that you are physically ready, and just go in there and fight. Like certain fighters, it's cool to have a game plan to try to neutralize some of the things that your opponent does. But sometimes the opponent is just too good and you just have to just make sure you're in the best shape of your life, go in there with a clear mind and be ready and willing to fight. That's it. That is what kind of fight this is with David Avenesian stepping into the ring with Jerron Ennis. He just has to make sure he's in the best shape, mentally in the best shape, 
go into that ring and just put on the best performance that he can. That's it. Because Boots' IQ is through the roof. His physical attributes are through the roof. His skill level is through the roof. And the fact that he's a Southpaw and he's an Orthodox fighter, and some believe that he's a better Southpaw fighter than he is Orthodox. I happen to agree. Now, some say Bud is better at Southpaw, but I don't believe that. I think Boots is a better Southpaw fighter when he switches than Bud, that's in my opinion. Because Bud generally switches to Southpaw when he gets hurt, when he gets caught with a certain shot. Then he kind of go in that dog mode and switches. Boots, he does it organically. He does it naturally, just in movement. It's not something that's a part of the game plan that he thinks about, it's just natural. And with his natural movement like that, that's dangerous because like I said, depending upon how you're trying to push him around the wing, I mean, Boots can just, Boots can just move this way, move that way, and then before you know it, bah, 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 you get caught with a shot. And he'd be like, damn, how'd you get caught with that? And then you look down at his feet and realize he got caught with that left hand because he's a southpaw. Well, he went to that southpaw stance. So, well, Boots is, I mean, he's dangerous. Fatality. Fatality.